It's week 12 of the National Football League. Up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Bears and the Vikings, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. And last week they put together a three-touchdown victory and were never... The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. So here are the Vikings to go on offense for the first time, and it's a rookie at the helm, the 10th overall pick back in April out of Michigan, J.J. McCarthy. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him to win. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they got after them early. A first carry for Rashad White. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. A nice job of just sticking the helmet down nine yards on the play, but still third and 12 now. Throwing is McCarthy. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll give this to Hubbard running right. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. This defense for the Vikings, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield, but all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Bears at 6-4 and four now on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The numbers for Smith a week ago, six catches, 73 yards. 
and the competition gets a little bit tougher here because he's got to go against the number one ranked defense in the NFL against the pass, the latest incarnation of the no-fly zone. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. On first and 10, it's Dalvin's. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Holding offense. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. But obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Ball start. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now here's Mahomes. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. In motion right is Robinson. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. And wow, the fair catch was signaled for and taken inside the five-yard line. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? He said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Holding offense. John Feliciano, the guard, the guilty party there. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. And brought down there by Taylor Rapp. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw McCarthy. That's to one of the new Charger wideouts, DJ Shark. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. All start. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. McCarthy off the play fake. To the sideline and incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll get this past the 20 as he gets about four. You look at this Bears defense. And they've been very good this year against the pass, currently holding on to a top 10 ranking at number 10. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. 
A last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Over the middle complete, it's Smith. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Here comes Dobbins on the toss right. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they obviously red man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that part, yeah, right? he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. No bottled up fumble. It's out. It's loose. And the Vikings pick up the football. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. Last week, a strong showing, up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week. You'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. In motion goes the tight end. Now McCarthy. A short throw taken in by a Conquo. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. No score after one on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Benjamin St. Juice there on the stop. Ball at the 14 for second and five. to run again here with White. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Third down from the gun, McCarthy being chased out left. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. Herbert. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Second and goal from the one. White will take this into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here. And we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point.
He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them get out there now and get some points on this drive out of the gun here's the give to Hubbard and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line he winds up giving a yard back there and now it's third and two they'll send the big tight end in motion right play action now it's Mahomes pass taken in by his big tight end look at the big fella go touchdown Chicago Jalu Smith his fifth touchdown now on the year and the Bears are an extra point away from drawing level when they drew that up I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Lutz with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was Jonu Smith, the big tight end, who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And now out comes Minnesota. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They go right back to White here on first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. McCarthy, he'll set to throw it. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To the air with McCarthy. And he'll let this one go deep for Chuck. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. Here's Braden Mann now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up Still to the line down. of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. Oh, 
Now Dobbins again on second down. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 35-yard line. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll get about two there to the 36. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. In motion left goes Cooks. Now Mahomes. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will be taken at the 13. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They keep it on the ground. White again. He takes this for three to the 29. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. I know I'm an old defender, but I've got to give credit where credit's due. That was smart play calling right there on third and four. They didn't need to do too much. Just let their guy get out there and sit down in the zone, and they hit him for the completion for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On a handoff, it's White. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Michael Dana able to record his fifth sack of the season. And that's the first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Here's McCarthy. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. The Vikings send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. 
From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This will be caught once again by Brown. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Mahomes now to throw. And that's complete to Cooks. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Mahomes. There again is Cooks, complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And that is no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. A final shot before break. McCarthy. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And oh, it'll be intercepted. So that P.I. call will give them one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless there's another there's defensive another penalty. The kick by Pinheiro is good. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit for now. Plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on, so let's get to it. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland, where it was definitely a game with some entry, as you can see by the scoreline. Josh Allen, excellent in the victory, as his guys pushed their record up to 8-3 on the year. solid first half for the running back Rashad White. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now here's Mahomes. Checks this down to Hubbard. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out.
out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held into an okay game. And he will have the Bears' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. They'll give it to Patterson. Dances by him. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throw complete right side to Cooks. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's second down. They go back to the ground with Dalbins. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Drake Jackson with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on here to punt it away. So here are the Vikings to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They stay on the ground with White. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. Looking to throw McCarthy. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. Shows his strength at the 50. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Running out of the gun with White. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Throwing is McCarthy. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. That throw right on the money from the quarterback from Michigan. It's a first down. First down, here's White. 
And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now McCarthy. A cock roll holds it in left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Chigakakwo from 19 yards away. And the Vikings are able to add on to that lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards, and it's polished off by a Viking score. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. This is Brown. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. Able to push his way through. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Patterson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll work down inside the 45. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First and 10, it's Patterson. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Second and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. 
He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The Bears on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A give up the middle to Dobbins. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Here's Mahomes to throw. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Brandon Cooks nine-yard touchdown grab and the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth so how about that for an answer they get the touchdown there and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth and that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game and by now we should all realize they're not going away now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back Lutz good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And able to give one man the slip there as he works his way forward for about three. They'll come up second and seven. To the air with McCarthy. On the left side, a catch by White. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Here's McCarthy. A quick throw there he is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Bears offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we'll watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Patterson running between the tackles. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the 
give Dobbins try the right side. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. Had a first down on that last catch as well. Mahomes going to throw. This one left side caught by Patterson. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. Dancing to his left. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep. Hoping to catch him on their heels. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Mahomes now to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle to Smith. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Mahomes. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him. An incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Dobbins will score. Touchdown, Chicago. And this is the type of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Lutz with the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Vikings offense and running back Rashad White set to take over again. Now he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. 
the Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. McCarthy, he'll set to throw it. Able to find Jones. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Zay Jones, 77 yards. And the Vikings use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And no run back here. That's going to be a touchback. And we'll bring it out to the 30-yard line. The Bears offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Mahomes will throw. Pass complete to Robinson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. Here's Mahomes. Into the hands of Cooks. Get his three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Mahomes. There again is Cooks complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Mahomes. He gets it to Cooks. Now the Bears going to call the first to their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. A big play here. Third and two. Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And the spike comes with just 12 seconds left to go. Here now, second and goal. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left, and a field goal would send us to overtime. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit, a great read, and they get to the backfield to make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. 
And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Bears are going to have it with a chance to win the game here in overtime. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So the Vikings going to get the first chance to possess the football as we are back underway here in overtime. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is, remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive. And this is what they've been planning for. It's time to execute and take it downfield, even against all these odds. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert. Don't jump early and give them free yardage. They'll go up the middle with White. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Good job there keeping him to a short game. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance. Reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. We'll play only the one overtime here. If time runs out, it'll be a tie as they come up on second down. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. 85 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Now a first throw here in overtime. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a big spot for a rookie QB in overtime. It's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is. And we've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing this at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. Yeah, starting to put together a nice drive. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and eight. Looking to throw McCarthy. And this one is incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Throwing is McCarthy. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. The Vikings send out their punter. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. Well, their defense, they did the important thing. They got the stop. They didn't allow a point. But 
Now they're backed up here pretty far, Charles. Going to need a significant drive to try to get into position for the game-winning field goal. Yeah, partner, don't you think that defense is on the sidelines right now saying, don't come to us with your problems about where you're starting. We did the important part. We kept them off the board, kept us in the ball game. Find a way to maneuver it downfield, at least get in the field goal range, and get us a win. And he is going to lose yardage here. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. What can Mahomes do now with his overtime drive? And he fires one, but incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Let's take it inside his own 40. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And out now come the Vikings. Well, this is a pretty rare situation here, Charles. You get into overtime, neither team coming through with even a field goal on their first drive. So now, sudden death with the time remaining. Next score wins. And now I would say that going at it might be a little bit easier for both teams now because they've eased into overtime. That first series broke everything on the line then. Now you've seen what a defense is throwing at you. You can make some adjustments, and all you need is three points to win it. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's a tap forward by McCarthy on a touch pass. Give them four on the carry there, but that only takes them back to where they started. Third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now McCarthy. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Gigantic play by this defense, Charles. So they came back in the fourth quarter, took the momentum into overtime, and now they take the football. And how do you think the team that just threw the pick feels right now? They surrendered the lead, got to overtime, had a chance to redeem themselves, and now they put the game in jeopardy with another pick. And guess what? Their defense has to hold. Now a toss left side for Dobbins. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 42 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Mason going to get it on first down. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. From the 31, here's second and nine. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So it all rests now on the right leg of Will Lutz. And another timeout called by the Vikings now. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one.
Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So for Chicago, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And now they'll get the short week as they get set to play at Detroit on Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, it's a loss that sets them back in their playoff push as they fall to 6-5. and five. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.